Good evening, everybody. A traffic accident sent four Ottumwa athletes to the hospital on Sunday. Football players Austin Brown, Jaquan Bridges, his brother Jawan, along with wrestler Ella Clark were all injured in the crash. While they recover from the injuries, the school is supporting them in a very special way. They mean a lot to us, you know, and they mean a lot to me, they mean a lot to our coach, they mean a lot to our players. So, you know, we've talked about it and, you know, we're, we're continuing to pray for their recovery and, and uh, you know, we're going to, we have a helmet decal that we're going to wear on our helmet for the rest of the season just to remember those guys. Back to the action on the field. Fairfield will be home to take on eighth-ranked Albia on Friday. If the game isn't big enough, the big story will be naming the field for legendary coach Pearl Smith, who finished his 25-year coaching career with a 162-67 record. Kirksville track coach Jeff Hutton played for Smith, and he had a big impact on his life. Coach Smith, over the course of 25 years, touched a lot of lives, you know. Uh, I think he set the standard of what, what coaches wanted to do as far as how they were going to treat their kids and, uh, you know, how they were going to push them to their limits and, and basically convince them that, that anything was possible through hard work. Uh, he may have been one of the earliest coaches to instill a weight room facility and, and, a, and a, a weight room, weight room program, which was far ahead of the time in, in the uh, 70s, early 80s. Macon will be home Friday night to face Clark County. Macon had to come from behind to defeat Monroe City Friday night 23-20. But an early season gut check can only help the Tigers who face another tough opponent as Clark County comes to town. It's a team that can score early and often. We'll have highlights on gridiron lights Friday night. In college football, the AP still has Missouri ranked 24th in the latest poll. Iowa received some votes while Florida State is still number one. Don't forget, you can see the Kansas City Chiefs Sunday afternoon on KTVO CBS at noon. They will face the Titans. Let's hit the diamond. Kirksville was home to take on Mexico. Mexico started the scoring. Laura Fisher gets a seeing eye single in the third. That made it three to nothing. Kirksville came right back. Olivia Denslow would clear the bases with a double to right. The game is tied at three in the fourth inning of play.